With Smash 4's final and most recent patch, its development cycle has finally come to an end. Though this sounds sad, that's not really the case because I believe now is the perfect time for the community to grow, flourish, and evolve. And here are my reasons why I believe this. This isn't a top 10 or anything, this is just my general opinion and I would love for you guys to comment and talk about this, agree with me, disagree, your own opinions, you know, the works. I'd love to hear what you guys are going to say about this. Well, for starters, there's no more DLC. This is the final cast, which means now, players have a chance to look at the roster and develop these characters, like find new playstyles, new tricks, or something that completely changes the meta of said character. And yes, that is happening now and has been happening a long time ago, but again, I believe it's going to be happening a lot more now that this is the final roster. We're not going to have to be wondering um, who's going to be the next DLC, how is this DLC character going to change everything? You know, people thought Cloud was going to body everything, people thought Bayonetta was going to be the Sheik killer, you know? We can't be having any of that anymore, and people are going to be able to develop characters to fight against, um, people are going to be able to develop like movements for these characters, play styles and all these things. Now for example, Greninja has been a character that I have not seen in competitive play, I have not seen a Greninja in EVO and Apex and PAX, I have not seen a Greninja like ever. But recently, these past few days, these past few months even, I've been seeing Greninjas doing crazy things. I've seen a Greninja in, uh, I think his name is Venia or Vernia, at Nebulus going crazy. Like, oh my god, when I saw this Greninja go to work, I was flabbergasted. My jaw dropped. I was amazed to see, like, Greninja as a character that's so low tier, or a Greninja as a character that's considered mid tier, but someone's shown, like, showing this Greninja play going crazy doing all these amazing things and beating top tiers like ZSS or Sheik like it's really mind-blowing um, another Greninja that I've seen as I bet you guys have seen it too is uh, B6 eye studying um, I only saw him in grand finals versus Isan but seeing how he developed and all these skills and all these moves like it blew my mind I've never seen a Greninja play like this so I'm excited to see what new Greninja plays are gonna do or what new character plays are gonna do like somebody might pick up a um, mid-tier like I don't know um, Roy for example I can't wait to see you know some new exciting Roy plays some new exciting sh uh, Peach plays, you know? I want to see what the community is going to do, how they're going to change these characters, how they're going to mold them, you know, evolve them. Now, while I'm on the topic of the roster, let's talk about the tier list, or better yet, the current metagame, or better yet, the current tournament scene. I will not lie, I believe that the community has been spoiled to the point where people kept asking for buffs, nerfs, and other things, and now that they're gone, People can finally adapt. It's time for us to change, evolve, and become better players. We have to hit the grind. Now, if you have a problem with Sheik's brokenness or Bayonetta's witch time or Sonic's safe moves, well, guess what? You have to find a way around it. Because I believe that Sakurai isn't going to patch it anymore unless something game-breaking happens. But this is the final patch this is what we have this is our melee you know how people have to deal with melee fox but well, we're gonna have to deal with smash 4 chic smash 4 zss and things like that we're gonna have to learn to deal with it or better yet how top players such as zero esam anti or many other top players have said we have to learn to adapt and again these things have been happening since the beginning of the game but I believe it's going to be happening a lot more, like way much more, now that there's no more patches. And another thing that I cannot wait to see is the rise of new smashers and people to become new top players. Like, I, for starters, I don't know any top players, any new rising stars, but so I'm going to use myself as an example. Even though I have a long way to go, I want to become a top player in Smash. And the only way for me to do that is for me to adapt and grow and change. And now that this is the final patch, I can take the game for how it is and absorb everything. And absorb everything. Like, know my character's strengths and weaknesses. Um, like, how the game works, how this works, how can I work around, you know, Sheik, how can I work around ZSS, Rosa, Diddy Kong, and things like that. Like, I can't, I'm not gonna, I can't 
beg for patches anymore. I just have to work around it and I believe people are gonna start doing that from now on. And actually one of the greatest things that I can't I'm looking forward to to Smash 4's future is modding. Like a lot more modding. Like yes, I believe modding like yes, I know modding has been happening for a long time, but modding I want like more of it. Like I'm not saying I want Project MU. Um but I want character models, you know, modding like modded character models, custom music, custom stages, you know, things like that. Me, for example, I want to see a bearded Ryu costume. My God, I love that from Street Fighter V. I think it's amazing, and I want that in Smash 4. And while we're at it, I want a bearded Mario. And you know what? I also want a bearded Peach costume because the realm of possibilities is endless. This is where the community gets to, you know grow and flourish and mold this game and break it apart and then build it back up this is the beginning of smash 4's future like this is where smash 4 truly begins because the game is not dead because the development cycle is over this is the perfect chance for the game to evolve to grow and to flourish and i honestly can't wait to see what this game and its community will become in the next couple of years. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. I'd love to listen to you guys' opinions, your ideas. Um, really, I just want to know what you guys think of this video, or better yet, what do you guys think about Smash 4's future? I would love to hear that. I would love to hear what you guys think of this game, and like where you, where you personally would love to see this community grow, or better yet, where do you yourself want to see in the future of Smash 4 and you know if you enjoyed this video leave a like if you want if you enjoyed this video and you think you know other people who would enjoy this video pour this video out I don't care the more the merrier um, and if you want subscribe you know because subscriptions are nice I guess and thank you once again for watching and I'll see you guys on the battlefield of Smash 4 bye guys